Hello everyone, and welcome to another um, playthrough. Sorry if I'm a little out of sorts. Actually getting this set up is actually is not as easy as some of my other projects. Yeast 1 and 2, Chronicles Plus. How sexual. So you're gonna have to give me a second here. You see, this is done through Steam. And unfortunately, I have learned that Steam is not exactly the easiest to set up when it comes to screen resolutions. Many of their games have issues when it comes to not using full screen, which they heavily in encourage you to do. The main problem is that I like to play games on my TV, not on my computer. And unfortunately, that also means full screen is out. Considerably out, because you cannot move it over and have it work well. I think that's gonna work. Um, let me see if it's Loading on this end. Yes. Hmm. I think part of the bottom is still not showing though. Okay, that looks about right. Man, two minutes just to get the stupid thing set up. I'll try to do that prematurely from now on for any future recordings of this, because this, this freaking is bad, man. But as for the game proper, um, this is not the, f this is like the first game that I realized was part of the lineup. For yeast, although it's not the first game I experienced. Oh, believe me, we'll be getting to that. But it was the first game that I was aware of the yeast name. So, we have plenty of options here, but none of them really matter. So, yeah, the sound's pretty decent. So, Chronicles or Complete? Hmm. I think Chronicles is more of an update experience. I think I'll play through both, just to see what the difference is. Also, in the most up-to-date versions that they made, you can choose difficulty settings. Normal is the default. Um, before this version was made. Easy, I'm going to be picking, though. Because these games are not exactly what I'd call cakewalks. Falcom presents. Light and darkness disturbed a chaotic era. Got some good harmonica skills. Can only say that. Ancient East vanished. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. That's very sexual. Also, if I if I had monetization enabled, it'd probably demonetize it, but whatever. Uh what the, what the what were those? Hmm. I don't know, but that was kind of freaky. Oh. Oh, fancy. So they're like angels. They have blue hair, that must be important. <laughs> oh, well, that voyage next time could go well for you, did it? Hmm. Spanished Omen. Yeah, believe it or not, this game originally was on the regular Famicom. Japanese regular NES. It's amazing how far we've come. Hmm, Dr. Pluto. Oh, good, you're awake. Don't stray yourself. Now your body's covered in bruises. So, still hurting anywhere? At all? I guess that's his name. Check some over. There was some pain, but nothing de debilitating. Get some rest. You're in a clinic at Barbado Port. Hey, Dad. Stranger awake yet? Slaff. Oh, Slaff. You're early. Let the meeting go. Same as always. No more progress. Well, the patient's only just awoken. Glad to see you back among the living. Yes, for my manners. Miss Pluto, I own and operate this clinic. This is my son, Slav. Found you collapsed on the beach, brought you here. Drove off the rebel that attacked you. It was a real close call. Rebel. What's that's name? Express his gratitude. Hello, good name. Recognize you though. Where are you from? So explain that he journeyed from Promalock to Asteria by boat. My word, you came from overseas? Amazing. The first man I know of to get past the storm wall. What do you do think you're doing? Uh oh, here she comes. Watch out boy, she'll chew you up. I'll chew you up, Slav, if you keep making comments like that. The man's wounded, you know. Should you leave him be? He needs his rest. That's my Ayla, always keeping us in check. You make a good point, my dear. Yeah, okay, I'll stop talking his ear off. Step at all. But know this, I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> okay, wow, you're direct. Do the clinic care? At all recovered quickly. Several days later, we can move around. Neat. Good morning, Adol. See the top top shape now. Oh, we get to see a close up of them. That's neat. 
still, should probably take it easy for a bit, just in case. Well, I suppose a walk around town could do you some good. Just sort of work for yourself. But boy, boy, your age have slept so soundly. Quite a story to tell. Although the poor said warehouse has become home base for the town's militia. Slap should be there. The answer any questions you might have. Just be careful not to do too much too soon. Is that all? Must go outside town. So don't push your luck, okay? Oh, um, for a minute there I thought they were gonna charge me a thousand gold. No, that's just how much I've got. I thought that was a bit weird. So, as shown, we indeed have this. So, yeah. So that's the smallest way to make it the town's below show force be reckoned with. It's always been one to assist on children everyone else's burdens. You're a stubborn one. This is a single word I say. We have someone else in this room. At all. I know you're strapping and blood at all, but please don't underestimate yourself. I don't want you getting hurt again. But you're not hurt. Fortunately, we're out of the red digitalist plant needed to make the herbs. Still, you shouldn't need any while you're in town, right? Hmm. Okay, same thing. It's about the enough to want to be up and about. Still, take care of yourself out there, okay? Whoa. Nice little sun effect there. <laughs> so, yeast at the time of its development was initially created to be a far more RPG-like experience of Zelda. Like, Zelda was a big inspiration for the developers at the time. You can see it in a lot of their old properties. They basically wanted to take the Zelda formula and try to do their own spin on it. Um, the fact that it took them so long to be recognized here in the West, you can see about how well that went for them. I was always very... The moment I found out about what the games were like, though, I admit that I was a bit turned off by the fact that people... Okay. Didn't really care all that much about it. Well, no. Would you be? See, so you're the young man that Pluto's been looking after. It's been through a lot. Looking very well. It's Pluto for ya. Okay, just checking around here. See if there's anyone to talk to. I really wish East was always taken more seriously. Because it's actually a really good series, but... Zelda was always the adventure series of choice, and... For a very long time, nothing could ever compete with it. It was, like, unsurmountable in its popularity. And any series that tried was just seen as a ripoff. And unfortunately, it's amazing that not much has actually changed. Bran, it's grade six months ago. Great ships were coming constantly, or paid to a flourishing. These days, all we do is fish, fish, fish. You're in for the way things were. Touch with the blue headed demons out of the field. Be careless, and you'll be dead. You're only human after all. Not sure about your chances for survival? Then run away. Run like the wind. But that's not the hero's way. A hero doesn't run from a fight. Slath is working hard to keep the town safe, but in the end, he may. Just be kidding himself. Love and fear of a monster attack could be better for one of our Beto to move to Minia. Hey, mister, come on the mainland? Isn't Stormwall really neato? If it stays forever, because away the girl next door will have to leave with her family. Well, that's kind of selfish. This is the town where I was born and raised, my home. Consider leaving this place. Child safety is paramount. Perhaps many of the city wall really is the place to be. Hmm, a neighboring city, huh? And quite the city from what they're saying here. Did you almost 
talks about leaving Stereo, but what do I leave when I have so many good friends here? One time, Roberto was swimming in Traegers, my husband. Tried to go home, but swallowed up by the storms. It's grateful to have my family here with me, though. So to keep me happy. Came here because I heard I could make a tiny profit at local silver trade. Now I just want to go home. Damn Stormwall, me and Stormy Progeny, all suffer uncomfortable bloating. <laughs> Great insult there, buddy. Hmm, is this the storehouse he was talking about? You're the one with Slepherus, you want you? I read her like yours is certainly a rarity here. Yeah, red hair is not as popular as blue hair in most RPGs, so I'll agree with him there. Laugh, it isn't at all. You kidding me moving around like that? Every time I stopped by, you were sound asleep. I've been exhausted. So, heard any murmurings overseas by hysteria? Love to know what people are saying about us. Don't laugh, you heard the land was cursed. Cursed, huh? It's not really true, but it's also not too far off. So we can't count any support from the outside. I think we're cursed over here, we gotta take action. But I don't know a whole lot. Fill the as many questions I can. Ask away. Rito is the only poor town in Asteria. It's be just a small fishing village until silver was discovered nearby, then it boomed overnight. But, over, but ever since Stormwell showed up, slips can get in or out. Our exporting days are over. So now it's just a fishing village again, for the time being anyway. At least everyone got some money from all the silver trade while it lasted, I guess. Asteria is a small island country. Only a few towns here, Rabuno, Seminia, it's a big village in the mountains. Long ago, there's also a town called Rastin, but it got wiped out by monsters after the mine closed. The place where I found you is called White Horn Beach. Well, there are pearl pieces washed ashore. There, great place for a stroll, safe for the monsters everywhere. What else? The yeah, Adarm Tower. Serious claim to fame, sort of. Just seems to kiss the clouds, doesn't it? Clear days? You can see it all the way from Premalock. The other touristy spots? But they've been infested with monsters ever since the Stormwall showed up. Damn thing really made life difficult for us. It appeared, let's see, about six months or so ago. First storm started on a night when some trade ships carrying silver set out from Barbado. Buffeted by the storm, the ships were obliterated. Watched ashore on Whitehorn Beach the next morning. First thought it was an isolated incident, but the same fate has been met by every other ship since. So the storm wall got start. Now we Asterians are pretty much strapped here. Most people just kind of resign themselves to their fate. But me? I'm too stubborn for that. When the storm wall appeared, monsters came with it. Split attacked you that day on the beach. Called the particular series Ribble. Monsters first appeared on the road up by the mountain, but they began attacking the villages soon after. Made in particular hit pretty badly. Minia seem just as vulnerable, but they've got that wall around them, so they're much more secure. The big was spared too, somehow. Supposedly kept the monsters out with some kind of mystical bell. We have nothing of the sort here, though, so we have to take up arms and defend the town ourselves. I want to make sure that we're just not saying anything different. Alright, we need to be sure to come back sometime. Attack, we can see them coming and get ready for it. Does it attack or the day, of course? It's pretty safe since sorry, you know. Different dialogue. Oh brother. Um I'm sorry, did you need something? He was just into a Syrian life. Okay, so not much different from you. Fishing here for as long as you can remember. From up here, it's a bit bigger than ever. I believe one would call that a mixed blessing. 
Really like Dota trade, but hey, at least we're not starving, right? Taken out a different meaning in modern day. It was from all appearance, but it was always packed. Can't help being poor, just really hate being bored all the time. Just sit around. You just laugh to let me join the militia. It's so stunning right here. Seattle, no? People have something all about you. You can see you want a bit of a break right now. Stormworld's not conducted to tourism after all. Trying to talk to you again. Do something to drink anyway, I'll see what I could say you. Nah. So does wife live in Minia? You asked me to go live with them. They must be choking. My home. Could never leave here no matter what the danger. Maybe it's no to finding a new home. Where is it supposed to go? I mean, actually, it probably was flourishing. Should have to survive on fishing alone. It's been six months, we're already in a pretty bad way. The herders are called pickards. They raise this livestock here for generations. It means absolutely delicious, but the brew easy prey for monsters. So we raise them here, where nothing can hurt them but us. Life cycle for generations. Okay, so. So it's not just fish, it's pickers too. Hmm. You're supposed to talk to everyone in town, I do believe. Right, it just don't work to be had at the harbor anymore. Right, to the silver trade, they exactly work out either. Bad luck all around. This is freshman's life for me. There's only so many people to talk to in this town, though. We've been trying our speed much for the monsters. They attack us, we're done for. Here's the storm walls. We're coming, my girlfriend. <laughs> wow, really? At your age? Okay, same thing. Alright, so... I think that's mostly everyone? I think I'm gonna go play my friend next door. Then you know, be careful the monsters wandering the plains. Why don't you? Bring to Hysteria. Okay. So... Talk to you guys twice. Super Sun and Fur Member. Prepare to press because it's very overly... Okay. Probably talk to you. Okay, so let me try Dr. Bluto again. Okay, so it looks like you're both are say still saying the same thing. Yep, okay. Okay. Wrong place.
Oh, you can quickly get through a dialogue if you hold down the O button. That's nice. supposed to normally progress this. This has always confused me because you're supposed to be able to get a weapon of some kind, I do believe, but I forget how you're supposed to do it. Up the North Road. See my friends many for quite some time. What are they doing these days? See walls, what's a safe place to be? Oh, did I forget to talk to you? Hmm. I think that's the only person I've missed, so. the customer assistant who gets toll after a time. Okay, um, hmm. This is a great way to start to this game, being confused on how to properly start it. I know you play a role in this, but for the life of me, this game so many lives needs to stop. We could trouble all the way through Asterion now. It's a really bad idea. You'd be in my monsters for sure. No good can come of it. Why not join the town militia instead? Sure got the guts for it. They'll explain they wanted to confirm Asterion's current state with his own eyes. Yeah, I figured. Know your type. Dota can never change your mind. You're a wild one for sure. Something short of a miracle to make it through the storm wall alive. This is my place. I know that, but it's not yours. No, this has got bigger things in mind for you, definitely. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Hey, when you leave here, go north. Just a hop, skip, and jump away from Minia. Steer third to city, sure to find some useful information there. Oh yeah, take this with you. There we go. Third a party gift. Those visitors carry these, they're small, but they get the job done. Got much of the way of armor? This is a good shop for that minia. Be sure to stop by when you can. Take care. Come around again, drop in. Um, hmm. There we go. So, yeah, um... In my other playthroughs, I literally did not know that you could get a short sword from him until a few playthroughs, and I always had trouble getting him to fess it up. You have to talk to every person at least twice in this town, and some are easy to miss. As a matter of fact, I think this is the first playthrough I've actually done this. Normally, do you know what I usually do? And this is pretty silly, but we're with me here. Yeah, you can't leave town this way, or anything. But you know what I usually do? Hmm. Bump system. I have a little text enemies for running into them. So we're just swung automatically, without pres pressing any keys or buttons. This of the attack is determined by its trajectory and the angle of impact. A head-on strike will likely cause Adol to take damage. Maybe it's struck off-center, or from an art angle, attacks will prove successful. 
Enemies can also be struck from behind, and this has a little risk of resistance. God, this is good music. Though, this technique can backfire if at all is hit against the enemy with a large amount of health, because it will quickly turn to face its attacker. But yeah, usually when I play this game, I run like hell when I'm on the overworld. Because I usually don't have a weapon equipped. And while you can do damage without one... As a matter of fact, can I like... File, save. Yeah, let's do that. Wait, it kept my save files? All this time? <laughs> really? That's interesting. I still have my save files from ages ago. That's hilarious. Okay, well anyways. If I... if you don't... Um... You can fight some of these. They're pretty pathetic. They're meant to be fodder for leveling up. But if you fight these guys without one... Yeah. <laughs> um... Don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, defeating anything but fodder like this is not practical in the slightest. Now, one thing that's nice is in this game, if you stand still, you will slowly take a break and recover your health. It doesn't work everywhere, but it's pretty nice all the same. But like the guy, but like the guy had said, you want to attack off kilter because. You can you can screw the enemy over that way. Yeah, even with that sword, look how much damage I took fighting that thing. Yeah. Hmm. Normally, though, you you aren't completely screwed over, though. You can still fight those. And uh, if you go all the way north here, you're going to eventually see. This place. West, Vidia Gate, Mr. 50, Melee, which is miles basically. South, Barbado Port, 5 per Melee. Hmm. Vidia Gate, just ahead. Town of Minia. If you don't get that sword, then you have to rush to get here. I'm about to show off why as soon as I can find it. This town is pretty huge, so... Hmm. Is it here? Oh, something you need. This is what's called a tool shop. Well, shut up. Is it really under the huge tree in the plains? We can't do that now. So we'll let's go inside the city walls anymore. I just climbed that tree one time. I never need to climb another one ever again. Way to leave the simple life, kid. <laughs> hmm. Ah, there it is. This is where you'd normally have to go immediately. Ah, welcome. Got some very good swords here. Same kind some militia members use. It's got even better swords for real combat. Let's take a peek. Yeah, you could get a short sword here. Excellent choice for daily use. 500 gold. He also sells stronger swords too. And this is usually where you get it. Here is where we can get armor though. If you get that short sword for free... Ah, welcome. Oh, it's a great luxury, but defense is absolute necessity. Such proper armor is vital. Best defense is good offense. If it gets ugly, offense will matter one whit.
They have did a chain. Let's move around then. Will violate us uh, slow cook a swear. Yeah, that sounds fair. Okay. Thanks. Use it well. About shields. Small shields made of reinforced wood. Slight and easy to use. Oh, I don't quite have enough for that. Damn. Sadly, the tax is a bit small. Strength 15. Defense 15, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I do kind of wish the um, numbers there were just a bit bigger, since it's really hard to see. That's about the only problem playing this version, though. The best version was the one that was on Turbo Graphics, which is the PC Engine in Japan, since it was the first major remake of the game from the original Famicom. And it actually had voice acting for many characters in it. It was really well handled for the time, but this version doesn't have voice acting. I love the Steam versions that I'm playing do not have voice acting at all. And I don't really understand why, they just don't. Mister, you a swordsman? Well, the fortune teller lady is looking for a traveling swordsman. Let's go and see her. Interesting. So, this is a suspect going to town. Just go talk to her right away. Alright, what do you have to say? The pen picked a ring off the ground the other day. After that, went straight to a store and put it on the shelf. Good little life would just sell something he finds like that. I guess both profit. But the owner of that ring never ever even crossed his mind. Hmm, so he's a scoundrel. Sarah has been acting rather odd lately. She's been going on and on about the world coming to an end. Well, that's not good. But, okay, same thing. If the monster showed up, spell the truth of it. Okay, talked to you twice already. Since the monsters started showing up, all the children are proven for the city. Looks like they've grown tired to be cooped up here. But what can we do? It's for their own good. Let's just search. Okay, same thing. Was I left by herself in Barbado? I'm trying to tell her to move in with me since it's so much safer inside the city walls, but she won't listen. No, she doesn't want to leave her lifelong home, but is it really worth the risk? Around the town was pretty narrow. Swing silver by middle port was a pain even before the storm wall was a result. Consider erecting a south gate. Don't want to compromise the whole structure, you know. The town was near. Okay, same thing. See what I meant around? His name is Donus. Damn fool. He's down at right about now. He's been neglecting his work. He's run up somewhere to boot. I saw a stranger in town wearing a black cape. Carry a pale blue glow to it. Just seen things, I don't know, but still give me the shivers either way. Cape man is the thief people have been talking about. Well, we'll go there later. Apparently there's this fortune teller that wants to see us. You like this? Well, there's good. Time to hear Claire's anything for the town's ramparts. It's basically their ancestors able to build towers for just up beyond the clouds. Mountain Road from the North Village? Reach Storm Tower. Thieves are based out of there, though, so take heed. Storm Pops and Tills be a steering fairy tales. What is the one about the silver sword used to defeat the army of monsters a long time ago? Hmm. Oh my, it's you? You are not from Asteria, correct? Did you come here by crossing the storm wall? Goddesses, thank you. Wait so long for this day. You're the one who I've been seeking. Please get your equipment in order, then return here at once. I must beg a favor of you. Um. Hmm. 
Limited in order. One of each, I'm guessing, is what she meant. But we don't quite have enough gold for that. Are there any monsters near here? What's idea? North, Epic Village. Nine, Kremel. That's a village, seven, Kremel. Kilometers, I guess that's what that means. Man, I'm tearing things to pieces. Don't mess with that all, man. He doesn't even have to bother taking time to swing his sword. He just rams the sword right into your face. Almost got enough. That's enough, okay. Alright, so where's this shop? It's over here, okay. I think I use it well. Now we're up to 20 defense. That's double of what we started with. I feel good about that. Swordsman, thank you for returning. To be familiar with the Book of Yeast. Yeast was the name of an ancient kingdom this is here ages ago. The history of the land is written within the Books of Yeast. It's unknown, however, who actually described their words. I'll be showing that off when we when I play Yeast Origin. The six books detail the reason for East Fall from Grace. The crystal ball tells me that one of the books is in the Mound Shrine. Swordsman, will you seek the books? You will. Swordsman, you're truly the man I've been seeking. Thank you so very, very much. Please take this with you. I'll show you the way within the shrine. Ooh, Sarah's crystal. First, please visit Cheba, village of Zepek. She is my aunt. She knows a great deal about the history of Yeast. I'm certain she will be of aid to you. The big village is to the northeast, just outside Minia. Let's do it on the way to the shrine. Do you know the harmonica playing poker hangs out up on the ramparts? I do not. He's real pretty. Tigers is also pretty. It's mesmerizing. Pretty a while though. The guy draws a roofies for my eyes. My ears are getting starved. Glug 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 glug. Ah. That is good stuff. Tch. Nikita Dancer. Welcome. Oh my, a stranger. Don't worry, traveler. This is a safe haven for the monsters. Nothing to worry about here. Oh. Ah, new face. Should you come, sir? Barbado, you say? You're allowed to cross the storm wall, then? Heard about you from members of Barbado Militia when they came here on their rounds. Sorry if I sound a bit suspicious about where you were from. Either there have been a lot of break in, so I thought maybe you were casing my establishment. Damn thieves, just come and go as they please. I guess high time for a bit of hunting. But do you care to join me? My name's Garrick. I'm hired by the city to track down those dirty thieves. Ain't that much but the crooks, but I did find about that long ago. There were some murder trees in Steria. Or a tree before? Seeds are said to be one of the finest delicacies in the world. I'll have to taste one just once before I die. Suppose you've come across any, have you? A humble patron of Swine Watering Hole. Somewhere in this general area, I lost a beautiful sapphire ring I purchased as a gift for my wife. Without it, those stuff I can't even face her. Damnable thieves. I'd wager this they're doing. Uh. Is that so? Is it a fortune teller's house? She may be young, but she's good. 
Do you have advice or guidance? You can always set you on the right path. The series foremost tour guide. Or at least it used to be. Unless it's Dormal, and all the monsters who drew me right out of business. It's once an odd old man who wanted to tour the mound ruins. This is before the storm wall. He'd be a scholar. So they planned investigating Darm Tower. Hope he's okay. Poor old man that I part ways with the old shrine. What if he's even still alive? Used to work at the silver mine. Six months ago, the tunnels were ruined by monsters. Because those damn doom, dim, dumb monsters that got, I got nothing to do but drink up and out. <laughs> Kill him. Boy, laid him chop into bits. You're like Biff Bam Skronk. Yeah, I know. They'd be the ones doing that stuff. Not with me around. I kick their asses. Alright, so we did hear about a ring. Far, it'd be great to give your girlfriend, but she'd be thrilled. Well, my friend. Scott and the there's market price. I'll come back to this. How do you guys do over here? You're not from one of these parts, are you? Mainly myself. Got trip to the Silsy Island by the Storm Wall. Get you a good deal since you're a fellow foreigner. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta get some more gold! I know there's various ways to get gold, but I forget what they all are. Oh, hello. I'm Rhea, poet and troubadour. My sister for Monica has been stolen. Don't know what to do. I do that nearly as much as my own life. Ah. Don't know, I've been traveling to search that perfect melody. The ancient songs lost the sense of time, dug from the depths of mysterious long forgotten past. Without my super harmonica, I can play nearly a single note. Oh, just crap, you weren't done. Should I learn to post the word about my harmonica? Would you please tell me? Doll, be rumor of fact, please. Okay, good. She re. She. Um, redoes it. Aww, she doesn't say that last part anymore, though. Upsetting. Hello, may I help you? Space from the right digits path that grows on the mountain. It can heal any injury. Another 300 gold. So we can get it here. It's been quite busy in here ever since monsters started showing up. People are always getting hurt. Close went to make a whole school at big village. They have no medicine facility or staff there. Take care of yourself. There's many ways to make gold, but the most optimal way is just by fighting monsters a lot. Besides, you should be doing that. You want to level up. Boy, do you want to level up. Yeah, with proper armor, you're probably noticing I'm um, not taking near as much damage. And, yeah... Not from these, anyway. But believe it or not, we're gonna get to much stronger enemies very soon. 
So this area is a pretty good spot for this. Five health, damn, really? That's massive. Let's see what's up here. Oh, you're new. Oh wait, is this that one creature though that's very weak in the beginning? Oh, that's a Pickard. And we just brutalized it, man. And that thing gave me a lot of gold. Like, holy crap. Can I buy more of those? Oh, wait, never mind. I guess I didn't. Thought it did. Seemed like something did. I'm up to 252. There's lots of stuff to find on the overworld, but it's also easy to get lost. Oh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Oh, here's that Rota tree we heard about before. Whoa. Hmm. It looks very important. Let's try to come back later. Well, that thing's new. This looks suspicious, but there's nothing over here. Hmm. Well, that's Epic Village, our next destination, but... over here either. I know there's something over in one of these corners. What the? Abandoned mine. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh I haven't saved in ages. Damn it. Oh damn. Well, that's a lot of time wasted. Shit. I was not expecting to run into that strong of an enemy so soon. Uh. 
Yeah, this is unfortunately is not a game with autosave capabilities, so saving can be very important. I just didn't think I would run into a dangerous situation so soon, but yes. Sammy's in there are apparently way above my pay grade. Yeah, we need to get more armor. However, I'm going to be doing something else first this time around. Because this amount of gold might be enough for this next major thing. Before I do this though, I will be saving. This time I'm going to the bar first. Seems like it's enough. What you want to do is give this guy the run around. It does take a while though. Because he's a tough customer. cheaper than that. I guess I could have sworn I could get him to go much cheaper than that. That's really a discount. Yeah, he's not budging. I think we've seen as low as he go. That's weird. There's other items too, but I'm not interested in that right now. Alright, so... Let's go see about helping this guy out. Fifteen hundred gold. Yeah, you definitely got more than what you paid, certainly. So that certainly did give us a bit of a leg up on buying equipment now. I am admittedly annoyed that they expect you to do that first because new players might not really think to try that, but still sucks I lost on all that experience and goal that I was getting. Uh.
Now, if you do in interact with her, she does give you experience for uh, doing the task that she wants you to do. Um, if this was what's called story experience, I forgot to mention this. Attacked by monsters with the tunnels, barely a little alive. I bet using his pickaxe, it didn't work too well. Okay. Oh, so just having them is enough. You don't even need to equip them. That's interesting. Um, so Sarah will help you just by having it. Neat. Now it is going to take a while for me to get gold for the stronger equipment, that's for sure. Thankfully for the most part, you can skate by with the basic stuff as long as you don't go where you're not supposed to. There is still something I'd like to find around this area, but unfortunately it's harder than you'd think. Wait, I see a chest over there, I want it. How do I get? Um, um, and I see another one. Okay, um, they're blocking me though. Ugh, damn it. Can I get down there? Bestiary Potion? Or bestiary potion has been obtained. Okay, yeah, that's one thing. But like, how do I get to the other one? Um, is there another path down here that will lead over there? Ugh, damn it. They keep blocking it off though. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, there's the Rota tree. There it is. It's locked. Oh, damn it. Well, we did get that one item. The sure potion. It's inside defeated enemies. Um, hmm. Ready to equip it? Stop and try to test stuff here. <sighs> There's like an item use button, but I can't figure out what it is.
Oh, there we go. Edel drank the potion and felt more deeply aware of the threats around him. There we go. Ugh. So it's the square button, got it. Level up. Now what's interesting is that you're rewarded for killing a bunch of the same monster now, since more of the bestiary will more of the bestiary entry will unlock based on how many you kill, which is interesting. Strength 60, defense 9. Shame about that other chest, but there's not much I can do about it right now. Pathways near the village. Now we're at Sapphic. What's he on? Stroke of Darkmans? Tell us the two goddesses or save the country from a great cataclysm. So this guess it truly existed? We have to live in fear of these accursed monsters. But to think that the most of the world, the truly goddesses are too. It is a bad way. Thieves have been on rampage there lately because it's where the rich folks live. Now in the western fields there are two giant trees. One is towards the south, the other is west of the old vine. Xiong, I would pick delicious fruit all the time. Wish I could do that again. Hmm. Been to Lake Shore? So pretty. You should go see it for yourself sometime. Here especially is the perfect spot for basking in the sun. Go earlier, someone will speak you too, what? A strange old woman named Chiba lives in this village. She young, she told me about the history of Hysteria. And this is a bigger and lovelier country about two gosses. Dr. Dr. should be able to put on him to some, someone new. Lou does his beard again. He's so thoughtless sometimes. Lovely wife is quite worried about him. Wish I had a cute girlfriend to worry about me if I suddenly vanished. I woke up this morning, my husband Ludo was gone. He's probably sleepwalking again. Where on earth could he be this time? I wondered. Too near the monster's testing grounds. Oh, young man, where did you come from? A Barbado? Dr. Pluto then. Good, good. Something to tell you, but you must promise you will not let the villagers know about it. Keep this conversation between us. Just trauma protection. The silver bell has been stolen by thieves. Desperately wish to get it back. Or some sort of worse, don't pay any price the thieves may ask. Negotiate with them on my behalf. The villager specifically must know of this. You'll do it. Thank you so much. The extent is north of the village, on the mound road. Meet there later. Please tell them that I'll pay whatever price he has for the bell. Count on you, young sir. Service Crystal? I see. So you're the swordsman Sarah has been seeking all this time. Tend to find the Book of Yeast within the shrine, do you? Have you been named this key then? Right at the top of the mound, we're once known as Solomon's Shrine. One of the books of Yeast is there, no doubt be somewhere in the shrine's lower levels. Just the door was well hidden, but that crystal will show you the way. 
virtually anything may await you in there. Never make sure you're well prepared before you go. Hmm, there's a key, but I doubt it will open up that treasure chest. Bugger all. Seriously, come on. Okay, there we go. Oh god. I think about level 3 for this is actually pretty advisable. here drop a pretty healthy amount of gold per kill and there's a big reason for that thieves den hmm. not quite quite the talk of the sword are you A brave or stupid kid. Why have you come here? You told me you actually came here to hunt a stone all by yourself. I mean, you do through the city stealing away silver. Some kind of joke? Go wrong, kid. Believe it or not, there really is honor among thieves. Steal from those who make their money by the blood and sweat of honest workers. Stone silver you're after? Look around you. A trace of it here? All of ours was stolen too. Find the culprit? It's gonna pay dearly, you can be sure of that. Huh? Who told you that we stole the silver bell? Major misformed. Do you point the silver bell is the people of Zapic? That would break the villagers' hearts, and that's something we would never do. What do you like? Don't you have nothing to do with it. Hmm. Well, that's not hopeful. Don't push against the door, but it did not budge, nor did there seem to be any keyhole. Well, that's foreboding. I suppose I can get this chest. Oh, I can, but it's empty. <laughs> oh, that's a tease. Hmm. This silver stuff that's very must be very important since everyone's stealing it. Hmm. Oh, to next level. That's interesting. I was thinking that was total experience this whole time. It is not. However, just for the sake of showing this off... And I'm saving right the hell now. If you have the crystal, you can interact with these golden statues, and they'll warp you around. How nice of them. Ruby has been obtained. Huh. Interesting. I'll save that, why not? Time to see what this is all about. We'll use the shrine key. Uh. 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 Yeah, this is a boss fight. The first one in the game. And, uh. He's a very hard one, yes. He 
Yeah, we're coming back to this. <laughs> it is possible to do it with what I've got, I will assure you, but it is not advisable though. He is a very hard boss to hit since he has those flame pillars hitting at the walls that take up most of the field and it's not very often he appears in the middle of the room, so... Having a lot of defense is key here. More so for the flame pillars than himself, though. Yeah, this game is ridiculously difficult. At least at the start. It gets better later, but... Oof. close to the next level. Once I do, I'm going to be going back and seeing what I can purchase with my gold so far. Which, which thing is the cheapest is what I'm going to prioritize first. Level up! So we're at 80 total health now. That's going to help a bunch. Sadly, there's not much in the way of shops in Zapek, so if you want weapons, you're going to have to go all the way back to the town of Minia, which... Yeah... Yeah, I gotta say, that's probably not really fair. But believe it or not, this game's not very big. You see, East 1 and 2 were initially supposed to be one game, but due to the Famicom's limitations, they couldn't possibly do that, so they had to split it. And because of this, Yeast 1 is not a very big game at all. But Yeast 2 did make up for it. Yeast 1 itself is really not that huge, though. Get what little experience in gold I can on the way back. Um, hmm. There's the Rota tree, but... I think really this game would have benefited from having a map of some kind, but unfortunately we don't get that. It is a short game though, so... I can't say it's a huge, a huge breaking point for me, especially since, uh... Okay, how do I get back? It seems like they're trapping me here. Shouldn't be that confusing. I got over here just fine the first time. Hmm. Let's try going to the right. No? Hmm. Is there a bridge I have to cross? At least not right about that. Hmm. This way, maybe? No, at least that first chest. But I had... Okay, I, I, I get it. When I saw the chest, I knew exactly what the problem was. Okay, now I know where to go. Yeah, go and kill these people real quick. Okay. 
Okay, guys, come on. Where's the town? There we go. Okay. Go and get a nice healing here. Another thing I'm also going to do while I'm here. This side, please. Who should this be saying? Me? Dr. Klaus. Uh. That's been my story. Um. That's been the toast being laid alive. I think I said go to the. Okay, can I? Destroy to some good year. Ones were only Rosales. Remarkable she was going about, so we can be thanks to her. Okay, we play. So I have to think about Lily one more time. I really wish I knew where you went. Okay, you're saying the same thing. Hmm. Oh, I see. You already have one. The makes a rather safer patients with greater need. So yeah, I don't know if you can use that during a boss fight or not. It'd be nice, but I don't think you can. Okay, so... How much is the next sword? So to combat, two swordsmen. First of top class. 2,000. Just a moment. Just how much are we talking here? If it's just a little bit, that probably isn't worth it yet. Because I'd rather focus on armor, but... Let's see, how much does this give? Hmm, an extra 20, huh? Hmm. Probably worth it then, because that is a significant amount of damage. But damn it, I need more money. <laughs> Now, if the heal potion can be used in that boss fight, then this is actually, this actually could be, um, practical. Now that I have the general route on how to get back, let's do that. So follow this route as much as you can. Yeah, that was much easier, okay. So where's that Dr. Zepic fellow? Sure. He supposedly came here, but I don't see where he went. Hmm. I don't know. Some things in this game can be very weird in how you have to approach things. I usually don't bother with all of it. I'd have to use a guide for most of it, and I'd rather not. It makes the playthrough just that much more tedious when I have to do that. Yeah, that's pretty powerful, all right. Let's see how I do. I got a level up, and I got me 
the powerful new sword. The level up also gave me a, a bit more strength to work with. We'll see how it goes. I'm curious if... Um, curious if this will affect me. We'll find out very soon. me to die now though. So I turn this many use that item. Yeah. The heal item is pretty much useless then. Oh wow, free hit on that one. Yeah, this is a very dull fight. doing that. Yeah, I got him. Just gotta wait for another convenient position. And he's not gonna be doing that. There we go. there is one bad race about coming down here. Our health does not recover. This is the first of a few dungeon areas of this game where your health does not recover. That is a problem. So you do have to be sure to keep an, um, keep an eye out on that. Level up. The enemies here are significantly, though, um, more more um, prevalent in experience in gold than anything we have fought thus far, and I mean by a lot. Thankfully they cannot hide in the shadows. The game will let you know if they're there, and that's nice. It's locked. Here too? When are we gonna be able to do something about this? Quite a few of these, man.
Ooh, going further down, huh? So far we haven't run into too much of a problem, but... Prison key has been obtained. Oh god. Um, hmm. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, these things are kind of dangerous. Uh, get kind of healed up here. Whew. Hmm. We are about to level up again, though, so that's helpful. I think I'm going to really need that. Massive. That'll help a lot. I think the hill potion is really useful in dungeon areas since you don't have access to pretty much infinite health, but I'm not really a big fan of using it though. It's not useful during bosses, and I think using it anywhere else just feels wasteful. these creatures over here. It always likes to hover near the chest though, which is annoying. Treasure box he has been opened. I mean obtained. Thank you. Okay, finally we can do something about that. So now we have two keys that are useful for here. So first order of business. So find that treasure box we found in here. Let's see what's inside. Look, buddy, just quit trying to weave around me. That's annoying. Okay, here it is. Necklace has been obtained. Hmm. Necklace, huh? Use the prison key. Hi? Who are you? Introduce himself. Who's him for coming to the shrine? My name is Fina. It's like I've been locked up down here for my entire life. Remember as a man in a black cape who put me here? He's a terrible man. To control the very movements of the monsters. It's dangerous here. You should forget about me. Please hurry, get away from here while you can. You're you're going to help me? Or not just gonna leave you here. Saying you can leave this place? At all. Thank you so very much. So what if he know he would lead her to a safe place? 
Mask of Ice has been obtained. More on that later. If I keep put that mask in here with me, perhaps it could be of some use to you? Yeah, we need to do a little escort mission now. We'll come back to the other jail cell um, in a little bit, but for now, it's important that we you know, look after Fina here because she can die quite easily too. people hate the escort mission type here. Um, I'd say this is fairly unintrusive though. As long as you're careful, it's fine. And at least she doesn't go out of her way to put herself in danger, which I think is where the hatred for escort missions really comes from, is when you actually have es escorts that are basically rock stupid and go out of their way to actually put themselves in danger. <laughs> Fina doesn't do this, and I'm thankful. <laughs> Though, for the most part, I think people heavily exaggerate the horribleness of escort missions. Most of them aren't bad. I've only had a small couple of them that really frustrate me. Some people say they're just really slow and tedious, but honestly, I think people just whine too much about that. Uh oh. Uh, I'm alright at all. Just tired, that's all. Don't worry about me. Oh! You know, that's no consciousness. Forehead? From the shade of fever. Luckily, Tuba's house is very close. Diligently lifted Fina over her shoulder and promptly carried her to Jeeva's. Jeeva's? How do you pronounce that? She's sleeping well. Medicine should help. A good night's rest. She should be fine by morning. Still, no matter how you look at it, it's a very strange story. Sacred in her sanctum, stood under the shrine for so long, becoming home to monsters. A girl in prison there, no less. I suppose this story doesn't add up. Indeed, it doesn't. Hmm, I doubt I'll have enough for both, but since we're already out of the place anyway, let's go ahead and see about. Now, you might notice, yeah, it feels like the monsters are giving less and less. All the East games, well, not all of them, but a majority of the old ones follow this principle. The higher level you get, the less experience the enemies give you. If you've ever played Castlevania Symphony of the Night, this should seem very familiar to you. I'm not a big fan of games that do this, but at least this game doesn't ever really punish you too hard for it. And I'm on the wrong way, aren't I? The gold doesn't go down, just the experience you get. So you're still getting lots of gold, at least, from hunting monsters. Yeah, I didn't go far enough west. If we ever get to the Venom Mine again, I'd be curious if I could survive there. I've become a lot stronger since my last attempt, but... Right now, I'm trying to see about seeing how much I can afford in armor. If I could get all the tier 2 stuff, that'd be pretty cool, but I have a feeling that's not going to be the case here.
All right, let's see what we got here. Play battles may have numerous early mobile plays. Heavy buffers on parallel defense. Hmm, 2000. Use a 12. How much wool I need for this? No shell speed with leather. Well, leather wired into the frame. Slide to protect splendidly. Oh, perfect! Sweet! I was not expecting that. I thought it was gonna come sh come up short. Then, and... One... Thirty? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, yeah. Not bad. Pretty well decked out now, so surviving in that place should not be too difficult. And by place, I mean the shrine, but I could pull off the mine as well, maybe, but you're technically not supposed to do that till a bit later, so I really shouldn't have tested my luck going in there in the first place. But to be fair, they put the monster pretty close to the entrance, and I didn't have time to really think about where I was. So, that's kind of a dick move. There's also that other chest we could get now. And I am ever so curious what it is. I just gotta find the exact location again. Okay, it's the one farther south from here. Yeah, I remember them making you do the run around here to get to it. Yeah, it's near the road of tree. <laughs> piece of paper? All that for a piece of paper? Super several lines of unreadable language written on it. Send goals. Condition is virtually flawless. They just don't send those rubies and patterns? Okay, we're gonna need that very soon. Oh, where's all the monsters at? You can't see them when you're wearing this. Interesting. That sounds just a little bit dangerous. Oh, trust me though, we're gonna need this. So, yes. So yeah, let's go ahead and do what we're supposed to be doing here. I do love the presentation of this game, at least. For being something that was originally on the Famicom, it's amazing. Shield ring? I don't think we could have gone that without the key. Metal brass ring reduces all damage received by half. Oh, that is nice. Especially since we're about to go to a place where we can't stand around to heal. That is really useful. Of course, with the extra defense now, it's really not going to be near or as bad as when I first came in here. Most of the weaker enemies can only really deal one damage to me, so... Those spirit enemies, though, they might still be a bit of a threat. Oh wait, there's that other jail cell. I forgot to check. 
Yeah, we'll be back here. Spirit enemy in here? Okay. I was expecting more than that. So it's what I get for thinking. Time to explore more of this place now. so far, but we're three floors down, so... Oh, that you're new. Man. Ivory key has been obtained. Okay, a new key. Interesting. HP right off the bat. Okay, let's not be too careless with fighting those all the time, though. They'll eventually wear me down. Although, can I get more defense? Yeah, they're only doing one to me now. That helps a lot. some more teleporting. Okay. Ah. The bush was found, but I already held it. He left it behind. Is that so? Well, I mean, if they're gonna give me one. Hundred and fifty HP, yeah, that's gonna last a while. Okay. Thanks for that. What about this one over here? Also, let's go ahead and save in here, now that I've got a good foothold. Hmm. Oof. Silver shield has been obtained? Silver shield? What in the... Um, hmm. Really? 
So, I'm skipping a shield, apparently. That's weird. You still want to make sure you buy the other piece of equipment to fill out the list, though. So I'm still going to need a lot of gold. Don't worry, though. Gold's going to be so easy to get later. So that just took us back, it looks like, since we were here before. Okay. So, where do we go now, I guess? Well, funny, funny you should ask that. Hmm, how do we get to that? Gotta be a way. This is where this starts coming in handy. Oh. Sadly, you cannot see enemies while wearing it, so be careful. So, that helped. Marble key has been obtained. So many keys, man. So many keys. This seems foreboding. The terrified bloodlust from the past that some sort of great powers was awakening. Is the ivory key? Oh, we needed both of them for this. Well, define great power because, um,. I wouldn't exactly call this a uh, great power so much as it's a easy to exploit pattern type power. I mean, jeez. This thing doesn't even try. The first boss was way harder. of yeast has been obtained. Okay, well that's what we came here for. So it's nice to know we accomplished that. Yay. Alright. Yeah, we can't actually go through there without having that equipped, which is Pretty stupid in hindsight, but hey.
Okay, with that, we're pretty much done here. So that's neat. Oh wait, there's a chest here I almost missed. Silver bell. Yeah, we kind of need this. So the monsters are the thieves, it seems. Yeah. stairs is here. Easier said than done. Aha, I see now. Thief, didn't I? Everybody's left right these days, but I don't believe Goodbye is to blame. Yeah, we need to report to the mayor. Why am I silver bell? Thieves? The ones who retrieve you treat it from? Is that? You just don't have it? It's basically the old shrine. Confused. Well, the wood would have been there. Well, it doesn't really matter. Thing is, it's been returned. We're safe again. So much adventure. Appreciation? Give me this ring. Wear it well. Power ring? Ooh. Heirloom. Properties. Who are very useful to you. Double damage output. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. So, oh right, the Book of Yeast, we need to, uh, talk to the, your lady, wise lady, um, to see to remember which house she was in. There we go. And hey, you're up and about. At all. Don't worry about Fina, she's feeling just fine. Fina wasn't anything serious, she was just fatigued from her long and frightening ordeal. I'm sorry, at all. I can't believe I just collapsed like that. I wasn't even properly thanking you. It's a bit late now, but thank you, Adol Kristen, for saving me from that dark, dank prison. Well, we know his full name now. Why would I be in prison such a place? So I just simply cannot remember. Memories of the prison, my own name, nothing else. I have to focus and remember anything else. All that comes to me is a headache. Do you look after Fina for a while? Various less savory inhabitants have taken an unhealthy interest in her. See, see, we did find a book of yeast in the shrine. Look, watch over Jibba's face. Seems the will of fate has begun turning anew. Done well. Now quickly, we must take the book to Sarah. So it's Sarah that needs it. I think I'll save that for next time, though. Yeah, we'll save that for next time. So, yeah, um, it feels nice to be playing these games again. Oh, I wonder how I get that thing to show up. Weird. But yeah, the E-Series is a series that 
I really, really enjoy playing, and I wish more people appreciated it for what it is rather than what it isn't. Again, not to bring up Beyond the Beyond again, but Yee Series is another one that gets criticized a little too much for just being a Zelda ripoff. It doesn't deserve that. It really doesn't. It does enough of its own thing, and it really does those elements pretty well, that I don't think it deserves that kind of treatment. But it does, and unfortunately, here in the West, it never really got a lot of praise. It did all appear in Japan, supposedly, but still never quite matched up to Zelda, though. And I feel like it should have. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you later.